Hello, this week we are going to draw a frog on a lily pad and then we're going to add some extra lily pads in the background. And the reason why we're going to make sure we incorporate lily pads is because it's we're going to kind of try to make kind of like a Claude Monet which is usually just Monet. He's a famous artist from way back in the day and he passed away in 1926 but hey a lot of his work was done incorporating lily pads and a lot of his works were nothing but ponds of lily pads and a lot lots of frogs certain types of frogs actually their habitat would be mostly around the water and they actually sit on lily pads so just follow along with me as we draw draw a frog and then add a Monet background with lily pads we're gonna start off with two circles for his eyes And you're just going to need paper, any kind of paper, it does not matter, pencil and crayons or coloring pencils, markers, whatever you have to get color on that paper, if possible. So there's your two circles for eyes. And you get two more circles inside inside of each of those eyes and I'm gonna color this in with this marker while it's in my hand but I want you to color your eyeballs in the the pupils of those eyeballs in the part that they see out of in with black crayon or marker or whatever you have now we're gonna take and draw his head and we're gonna come out with a line and kind of curve it around and keep on coming down and curving it around as you're going down then go across while curving back up and once we realize once we see that we have kind of the same amount out from each side of the eye I'm going to bring it back in, stop, and in between his eyeballs, put a straight line, try to line it up with these two. And then you just have two, like, tiny oval shapes here for his eyes, I mean for his, <laughs> for his nose. <laughs> and then we're going to give him a smile. So a curved line up and at the top of that smile we're going to give him some little dimples so just a curve line down at the end of each eye I mean at the end of each at both ends of his smile then next we're going to draw the arms and the feet I'm going to bring up a line starting kind of on the bottom side of his face bring it down and around for that finger you're going to curve it out or his other little toe finger whatever it is bring it out curve it around back up and then bring another one and curve it towards that center line then we're going to draw the outside of the other arm bringing a line down curving it around like it's kind of just resting on his belly. And give him three little toes again. Now this line, we're just gonna make it kind of curve around so that it looks like his arms are resting on his belly.
bring it back up towards his face. So it's kind of like a fishbowl belt top. Then you're going to add some legs. Those old frog legs. Bring it up and out, curve it down, and then curve it out and back in. Just small little curves back out and in for three little toes again. And bring it up to his pinky or pinky toe, little toe. And do the same thing on this side, except for the opposite direction. Bring it out, curve it around, down, and a little no toe. Three little, two little toes, now three, and bring it back to his pinky. Now there's our frog. And we're gonna put him on a big lily pad. Because this is up close. He's really up close. The stuff in the back is smaller because it's way back in the background. And you're just going to bring that lily, lily, lily pad around. Almost like you're drawing a oval. But then you're going to dip it in. Bring a little line in, and then bring it back out and continue to curve it around like you were doing an oval. And here we're then gonna just bring a, a curved line like there's another big lily pad right there. And these are the little lines showing that they're in the water because lily pads grow in the water. And here we're going to add a flower. Just some zigzags. And kind of zigzags on top. And then we're going to just draw flowers that so we're going to draw some flowers. This one. It's just a bud. It has not bloomed yet. So that's the reason why it looks like this. And this one has bloomed. There's two lines. Two lines side by side. With small and then a U shape and curve it in and a zigzags on top and this one you're pretty much just putting like an egg shape on top of it on top of the two lines and some more of our little water lines and we're gonna do a lily pad with a flower And another lily pad without a flower, so we're gonna have that oval type shape. And bring a little curve in a little part of it. Those two lines again with a flower bed on top. Another lily pad. Turning the turn the opposite way, so you bring it in on the opposite side and curve it in to curve it back up. Another lily pad. And lily pads come in all different sizes because they have to grow, and it depends on how big they grow. as to how big they are. Okay. 
is water lines. And you can just put water lines wherever you have space for them. Another lily pad. I'm going to bring it around. Curve it around and curve it in and back out. Another lily pad. There's another lily pad with a flower on it. So you don't have to do that curve in and curve out part of it. Now, once we have that, we can color. I'm going to use a lighter green than the green I used for my lily pad on my frog. My frog is going to be a lighter green. If you don't have two different colors of green, you can just apply less pressure, which means don't bear down so hard on the frog, and it'll come out lighter, and then you can bear down harder with the green part of the lily pad, and it'll seem like two different colors. continue to finish coloring the inside of this frog and try to color as the best you can as neat as you can and keep those lines going the same way so that the texture stays smooth get tricky down here. I'm going to have to turn the way I'm going so I don't run off the frog with my green. And then let's not forget his legs. And we're going to leave his eyeballs white. Those frogs tend to have big bulging white eyeballs. And their eyesight needs to be really good so they can stick their tongues out and catch flies really fast. And other insects that fly by. Because that's what they survive on. That's their food. Now for the lily pads, I'm going to use just regular green. And color in all these lily pads with regular green. And these flowers that are sticking up out of the water, the outside of the bud is going to, that has bloomed, is going to be green. The one with the bud that has not bloomed 
is going to stick in solid green. Got to add a piece of that flower in there. And you're just going to finish coloring all of your lily pads green. And for your flowers, I'm going to choose, because Monet liked to use light colors. Every once in a while, he'd have a dark color, or a dark bright color, like red or something. And he liked, mostly like light colors, so we're going to draw the color of those flowers pink. Or you can choose another light color. And the inside of those flowers needs to be yellow. And you can choose orange or whatever you like. Now, the rest of it is just water in our background. Well, water. Because we have water in, uh, down here in our front ground, foreground too, I mean. But, you have to turn it sideways to get in these cracks. Then you're just gonna finish coloring in all of your water. And color as nice and neatly as you can. <coughs> so it all looks nice and even. Go around these eyeballs very carefully.
let's finish coloring this in. And I hope you enjoyed the videos that go along with this. And our enrichment may have something to do with Claude Manet too. So you may learn some extra about him that in, in your enrichment videos too. So there we have it. There's your frog for the week. And do not forget to take a picture, upload it, and submit it. So have fun.